Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scarlicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today, after tons and tons of use, we are going to be going through a full review of my coach signature buckle belt in 38 millimeter leather. We'll be going through the wear and tear, how often I used it, and is it worth the price? Is it worth it? Is it, is it worth $10,000? But before we hop into today's Coach Belt full review, if you guys love Coach, handbags, fashion, hauls, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoy today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps. With that pesky YouTube. Al, go, rhythm. Do as I command, and we will defeat the Autobots once and for all. So right off the bat, I'm going to say that this belt is amazing. I love this. Now, I did pay $195 one year ago. And it's still currently $195 on the website, though it's on like a massive back order. I do not regret buying this in the slightest. I bought this for full price and I would hands down do it again. So if you did not know, the, ba the belt is reversible. So there's black pebble leather on the one side and then brown leather on the other side. I'm, I'm assuming this is like smooth or like gloved hand or something like that. But I also have my belt actually embossed with gold foiling. So now that I've gushed over it a little bit, let's look at the wear and tear on this beauty and like the general warping because sis, I love to wear my belts as tight as possible. If I'm not cinched to the gods, girl, I, I'm not wearing the belt. <laughs> and as you can tell from here and whatever footage I have over top of me speaking, like there's very minor, minor warping as in like when you wear a certain like when you wear belts so tight the web the leather starts to sort of like warp like in a certain area behind the belt like um where it would be on your back like your lower back it starts to like warp downwards and i'm finding that after over one year of use and it has held up so well I was so nervous buying this a year ago because $195 for a belt, sweetie, that ain't cheap. That is an expensive, expensive belt. But it's worth it. It is worth it. As you can see with like the pebbled leather, there is literally, I don't think there's a single scratch on this. Even like there's no scratch on the pebbled leather of the black. There's nothing wrong that I can visibly see on it at all. It looks just as fresh. Okay, it, I could probably polish it a bit with like some leather polish to like really give it some life again. But for the most part, there's no damage done. Now, because this side is more of like a smooth leather or like a glove tin leather per se, it is going to scratch a little bit easier. There's only one scratch. There is only one scratch on this side after a whole year of use. Even the vinyl striping on the sides, there is no cracking whatsoever. There is nothing. Like, there's nothing wrong. The only thing wrong, I would say, is just the minor warping. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
the only thing that's actually got damage on this belt. It's the hardware. And what's really nice about this hardware is that it's removable. So when you flip it over, there's like this little clip and you just pry it open. The more you use it, the easier it'll be to pry it open. So the metal clasp actually has like spiked teeth so you do have to be careful with this you don't want to pinch your finger or you don't want to like stab yourself or something like that because that's not going to be pleasant but as you see it just punctures into the leather you fold it in and then it just cl clamps together and I've never actually had it fall off while I've been like out and about so you don't necessarily have to worry about it like oh you look down and your belt's hanging off or something like that i've never had that happen for this being a big belt buckle the way it is and just the sheer the sheer like uh size and how long i've had it for you would think this would be a little bit more beaten up but it's not this is not nearly as beaten up as i thought it would be i thought this thing would be like Damage to hell and back. I thought this thing would be damaged to hell and back. You shall not pass! When I'm storing this, I definitely baby this. I have it hanging up perfectly on like a rack or something. Like the way I have it hanging up, it sits perfectly. And I just put the little thing on top and then just have it all hanging and keeps the leather belt straightened out. Obviously, you don't want to bang this up too much. Or at least I don't. I mean, like, you could probably get away with it because it just adds, as you can see, it just looks like it makes it look like it's antiqued, but it it's great. And for those of you who are wondering, it does come with a brown leather loop and a black leather loop. So black pebble leather and then the smooth or gloved hand leather. I don't even know what leather it is. I'm so, like, dense. But, yeah. Now, if I'm going to rate this out of 10, what would I give it? you know after using this for a year and absolutely loving it this is a 10 out of 10 this is a perfect purchase for me like I would rebuy this in a heartbeat I have seen other similar belt styles they've released in the men's styles and I would buy them again I would buy them again, uh, assuming they're the same quality as this belt. I would buy, I would buy them. I buy them all. Like I would buy them. It, they're just great belts. They all. I'm assuming you could probably use them all interchangeably. Like, ma'am, yes, 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 yes. If you are thinking of buying this and you know you're nervous, like, it's a two hundred dollar belt. Should I buy it? Is it worth it? Is it gonna hold up? It's held up. I want to say it's held up perfectly. I love it. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, I just, I love this piece. I use it all the time. It is a showstopper. It completes, like, almost every look I have. And, you know, I just love it. I just love it. So, with all that being said, 10 out of 10. I recommend it. Man or woman. Uh, Non-binary, trans, whatever. I, I recommend this belt. I recommend it highly. Anyways... I'm gonna show y'all a sickening, sickening outfit of the day. Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you, but all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, hundred, hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, hundred, hundred. 9,000 or 999. There can be a hundred people in the room, in the room, in the room, and 99, 99, 99 don't, don't believe in you. There can be a hundred people. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's outfit of the day and full review for the Coach Men's Belt Buckle Signature Style, whatever. Love it, live by it, swear by it. If you have any questions that I didn't necessarily answer in the video, let me know in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible. 
And without further ado, if you guys did love today's content, hit the subscribe button. If you are new, hit that like button, share with your friends and family, comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's video or outfit of the day, and check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs> I, I think it was good. I don't, I don't. I'm done. I'm done. No, no, show's over. <laughs> show's over.